What's up guys and welcome back to another season of the Barcelona career mode and this is season number 2 we have surprisingly kept our job and now we will be looking forward to creating a monster team that can hopefully win and challenge for all the titles and before we get into the video please subscribe to the channel because 83% of you are not subscribed so it will be greatly appreciated if you can just spend a second and drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel so we are currently in threat of losing our job but we are having 347 million to work with and Busquets also has been sold in the last season and Neto also was sold Busquets was sold to Man City and the release clause of Clemmer Longley has been met it's 57 million only and I think that he has grown up to an 84 overall and if that's the case then 57 million is quite low for an 84 overall rated player and he said that he hasn't been enjoying his football here, so we should be selling him. Alright, so if he doesn't even enjoy being a Barca player, then what's the point of keeping him? I don't care if he's 87 rated or 90 rated. If you do not want to play for Barcelona, then you are not welcome here. So you can go wherever you want to go. And it's been met by Sevilla, so he can go to Sevilla. We will handle all the pressure that they give us in the league. And speaking of the league, we have to win the league and as well as the domestic cup and the Champions League in order to keep our job. And this time we will have to do some other objectives too, just in case that we do not win any trophies. So the youth development one seems pretty easy. They are telling us to have three midfielders into our youth academy. So we will just send our youth scout to find some midfielders and that would be done. Apart from that, the main objectives are to win the cups as many of them as possible and that's pretty realistic because Barcelona do want every trophy there is to win. So that's our hope for this season and hopefully we can build upon winning the league and do well in the Champions League this time. And Longley has rejected the move to Sevilla and he wants to play now. So fair enough, I think he has gotten his senses back and he is an 84 overall player so hopefully he will get more game time in the season and hopefully he'll perform well if he wants to get the game time and just in case we will be rewarding him for his loyalty and also getting rid of that release clause so we will offer him the same wages that he earns and hopefully he accepts if he asks for a wage increase then we are obviously not going to give him that so let's just see he earns 115,000 and he wants 115,000 so he accepts that's perfect and just in case these are the players on the transfer list the offers have been blocked for some of our key players and the transfer list includes Gerard Piquet, Pjanic, Coutinho and Pjanic is a good player but I don't think that he'll get enough game time here and we just ruined his career by getting him to our club so I'll just transfer him so he can get his career back on track and Alejandro Balde and some of our young players have been loan listed but now we get into the big money signing that is of Paulo Dybala so one of you just recommended me in the comment section and he's a player that I have not used at all in a Barca save I did use him in the Juventus save some in some of my previous career modes but he will be something unique and not a lot of career mode people sign him in a Barca save and we did earn a lot of money it was like 616 million that we had so that also gives us pretty much the transfer budget that we have to make this transfer work so we are gonna start with 90 million and they want 133 million the prices in Korean mode are so so high it doesn't make sense at all like 133 million for Dybala let's just counter with 115 no they're not budging they're not budging Let's say 128. What do you say about that? And they accept, finally. So Paulo Dybala will be coming in and hopefully he'll play the first game of the season. But before that, obviously we'll have to get his contract sorted. So let's just get into it. So there we go. We are at a fancy restaurant and he demands a crucial squad role. He earns 170,000 a week. That's a lot of money if we have to offer him anything close to that. But we'll have to make this work. So four years contract, 200k a week with bonuses like 
what is this guy up to? I mean, he's 88 rated, so he's pretty much our highest rated player, if I'm not wrong. So 260,000 for him. I think it would be good. Hopefully it is. So here we go. We have signed Paulo Dybala from Juventus, and that also increases our rating. So we had an objective that we had to sign two world-class players with 82 rating or above, and we did complete that. And the first game of our season is against Real Madrid? No way. A first game of the season and it's an El Clasico. And we have already played so many El Clasicos in this series that I'm tired of playing El Clasicos. But it is what it is. And we'll have to go once again at the Bernabeu this time. And hopefully grab a result. So Paulo Dybala starts for this one. And let's get into it. Look at that stadium, that looks fantastic. We are here at the Estadio Bernabeu for an absolutely crazy first game of the season. Already Barcelona start the game. Pedri Gonzalez. And he has been taken down. That's the tension of the derby coming in by Benzema. Now Benzema goes forward. Barcelona's defense is nowhere to be found. Araujo tries to cover and Tishtegan saves it. Jordi Alba plays into the center to Memphis Depay. Dybala, a debut goal for him maybe, he's through. And Courtois with a brilliant save, another save by Courtois. And it's going in, no it's not, what a crazy sequence that was. David Alba playing in midfield, charging forward. He has a lot of players forward. Benzema outside the box, shot saved by Ter Stegen. Frankie de Jong, on to Serginho Dest with the overlapping run, he has players in the middle. Dybala waiting for it, gets it and saved. And another rebound, blocked well by Carvajal. A goal kick for Real Madrid. And they are under pressure by Barcelona. Memphis Depay and Paulo Dybala gets it back. They're keeping the ball well. Jordi Alba has played in the middle. He's gonna go for it himself and he has scored. Barcelona lead at the Bernabeu. Jordi Alba with a goal, a stunning strike, drilled into the bottom corner by Jordi Alba. The keeper couldn't get near it and now it's all about keeping their shape defensively and they're gonna get the win home. What a lovely strike. That's a striker's finish right there. Drilled in with so much accuracy, so nearly hitting the post but just that little bit inside and he scores his first goal this season. Now here's Valverde, still going Valverde, brilliant run by Valverde, passes it on to Cruz and Cruz scores, it's 1-1 and they have conceded right after scoring Barcelona, Real Madrid are back on level terms and this game could go any way from here. And we have been far better than them in the first half, more shots, more possession but we just haven't been able to finish our chances and the game is 1-1. Militao, long ball forward to Benzema. Brilliantly done. Barcelona do have players backwards. But now here's Hazard. And he has skied it. Barcelona on the counter attack. Frankie de Jong. He has scored so many times last season. Can he do it again? And that's a brilliant save by Courtois. Fati. On to Memphis Depay. And he has drilled his shot wide. That was a huge chance for Barcelona to take the lead. And it might come back to haunt them. Hazard and that's a brilliant tackle by Dest now Araujo has given the ball away and Barcelona could be conceding and it's a goal for Real Madrid they have taken the lead they have turned this game around Araujo misplaces the pass and then he gets punished Barcelona now trail by one goal the game nearly coming to an end and Real Madrid still creating now here is Ben Yedder, and that's another brilliant tackle by Eric Garcia. 83rd minute of the game, Foreigner. This could represent another opportunity. Dybala, still going. Tries to curl it in, and it's deflected for another corner for Barcelona. Barcelona still moving forward. And now he threw, and he couldn't finish it. So that's it. The game is over, and we have taken an L in the first game of the season. And we were better than them, we had more shots, 13 shots for us, 
and we still lost Araujo's terrible pass that was not me he could have easily played it and we have lost this game but we have to move on in the next episode and we have a transfer offer for Gerard PK but we are gonna look at that later but first we have to convert our youth academy prospect into a cam and he goes up by four ratings so he could be getting some game time once he turns 16 and gets promoted to the senior team he has amazing stats for his overall remember the name guys remember the name Jens Kroos of La Masia and we have a loan offer for Igor Paredes so he is pretty talented and we are gonna get him on loan because Paulo Dybala has arrived so we are pretty much covered in the center forward position and if we do need him we will just call him back from loan but now we have to end this episode right here if you liked it then hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more of FIFA 22 career mode content